My name is Eric. I'm KC8XJ, and I'm with Universal Radio. And today we're talking about one of Yesu's newest mobiles. This is their FTM 400D. This is one of the most innovative mobiles on the market to date. One of the most groundbreaking things is its color TFT display and its hutch screen for its interface. Definitely makes navigating some of the very complex features that are built into this radio much easier because you're not diving into a bunch of complex menus and systems in a really long memory list. It's a much easier to navigate screen that's going to let you change all the many features that are available in this model. This radio is a dual band radio. It's going to cover the 2 meter and the 440 band. It puts 50 watts out on both bands. And then also this is Yesu's newest system fusion radio or C4FM capable. You're going to be able to do analog and digital with this radio uh, simultaneously, able to listen on different bands. When you're monitoring on a System Fusion repeater, which can handle both analog and digital traffic, this radio will automatically change modes. Um, it can always pick up an incoming signal, whether it's analog or digital. But based upon what its last received signal is, it will change modes to match that when you're transmitting. So if the last signal that came back to you was in FM, you'll transmit in FM back to the repeater. Mm -hmm. If it's a digital signal that came in, it'll automatically hear it and change your mode back to digital so you'll go back to match the digital transmission you just heard. You can override that. You can make it just do FM or you can make it just do digital. It's pretty simply laid out. Um, you've got an upper and a lower band for your VFOs. You've got an independent volume and an independent dial for your squelch and your settings, depending upon which modes you've got highlighted. You can change modes by just simply touching the screen and changing which VFO is the live one for you. This radio's got a built-in GPS and has all of the abilities to do APRS built-in. There's no optional accessories or anything that you need to add to make it do it. All of these options are built into the radio ready to go. The GPS antenna is built into the head unit, so make sure wherever you put it that it's going to be a good view of the sky so you're going to be able to good signal with it. The navigational features with this and, and the APRS features are great, easy to set up. It's got the capabilities in the digital modes to be able to transmit pictures that are taken with the optional snapshot microphone that's available for it. Uh, that microphone will be plugging into a port here on the front of the body of the radio. There's also a port for a micro SD card. That's where you can save some of your GPS loggings in your APRS settings. Also, as you capture images, you can set and transfer those images to the SD card and save them there too. So you've got some nice capabilities, especially being able to send pictures back and forth that uh, hasn't ever been available on any other mobile on the market. As it comes out of the box, um, you're going to get about a 10-foot extension cable to go between the body of the radio and the head unit. They sell an optional longer cable that's close to 20 feet if you need the extra length. Right now, there's no way to attach the head unit of the radio even to the body of the radio. So remote mounting is definitely going to be your option unless you get into making some of your own brackets. The head unit's got a suction cup mount and a few other accessories that are available as an option. So being able to get it installed into a car, you're going to have a lot of flexibility. Please look at our webpage for a more detailed description of a lot of its features. Also, look over the options because there's a lot of ways you can get this set up and mounted into the car. I really think for anybody getting into the, the Fusion digital radio scene, the FTM 400 is going to be one of the best radios on the market to take that jump.